wife is French. She's French. She's French. She is French.
journey from Cologne to Frankfurt, you pass, if you travel by train, through hilly countryside on the banks of the Rhine River. <laughs> if you travel by train, you can, if you wish, sit back and enjoy the sight of this picturesque countryside as it passes you by. You can also, if you wish, Enjoy the flavors of a meal of any size according to your appetite and pocket provided by the Deutsche Bundesbahn <laughs> catering service. 
This is usually rather bad. One of the dishes you are able to choose bears the name Strana Max. <laughs> this consists of a rather cold fried egg on top of two bits of ham and a piece of bread with a rather limp piece of lettuce to one side. I have just consumed this Strana Max. I am sitting on a train from Cologne to Frankfurt. I have consumed this Strana Max before the train and even at Cologne Station. I had to smother it in salt from a little cream of packet to make it edible. I thought that the train to Frankfurt left Cologne every half hour on the half hour. And I did to catch the one and half past two. But when I got to the station, I thought that they left every hour on the hour. And then I remembered that it was a train from Frankfurt to Cologne which left every hour on the half hour, and not the trains from Cologne to Frankfurt. Also, on the train journey from Harvard to the station, they were getting inspected on the track.
We are also in between lots of other towns, London and Budapest, for example. But it just so happens that the train stops at Koblenz and Wiesbaden. <laughs> very picturesque. I knew it would. When I was travelling between Cologne and Bonn, before the arrival of the gentleman, and when the view through the window was not at all picturesque, I never gave up hope. Soon, I said to myself, the view through which the train passes will become picturesque. Then there was the arrival of the gentleman, and the view became picturesque. through which the train travels through. I was just sitting peacefully, gazing upon these great vines. <laughs>